Alright, it's um, November 1st and uh, got the crankshaft off the Hercules engine. Needs new main bearings. I'll show you the old ones right here. Got a little, got a little light here. Got uh, both and both the caps. The lower half bearing on this side, the cam side, was actually split down the center. Try to hold this light a little better. Hang on. The cam and the light. Uh, the lower bearing for the magneto side was a split or a dead split or something right down the right down the center there so that's definitely a problem Let's see split pretty well uh, the rest of it wasn't too bad. They, just, they all got grease on them still. They, uh, it had quite a bit of end play, which is the reason I was taking the crankshafts and the flowers off to put some shims in there, but this one I cleaned off. They didn't look, they didn't look too bad. So, but then I found that broken bearing and I found a lot of play. A lot more than I thought, so. They're off, and I'm going to order some new bearings from Hit and Miss Enterprise, and hopefully get them in a few weeks. The connecting rod main didn't look that bad. Can't really see because there's a glare, but it's not bad. Here's the cap for the rod. Just got grease on it, that's why it's got that funny pattern on it, just grease. Crankshaft is not bad. It's not scored, I haven't mic'd it yet, so I don't know <clears throat> if it's gotten mean. I don't I don't see any gashes in it or anything. But uh, the crank journal or the connecting rod journal is fine. I did manage to get the big sprocket, that thing right there that drove the cement mixer, I managed to get that off the crank without too much difficulty. Off of this end here. See, it still needs to be cleaned up before I can get the flywheels off. And clean both gears up, and I'll take this time just to really, really get a good clean on everything. Not that bad, but you know, the uh, the cam gear also seems to have a little bit of play in it on the shaft. So maybe I'll I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. It's all right for now, though bore the engine looks fine. I mean, the only thing it was, I noticed was the flywheels that the crank had play in it. Had a decent amount of play, more than I felt comfortable running with, so just go ahead and replace that and we'll be good to go. The seats don't look bad. A little pitted, but I think that's just casting defects. Another thing was the little the little bumps on the, see that? It's got that little raised pump bump right there. Well, the other ones, let's get that light out of the way. The other ones, the bump was broken off, you can see there. See right here? One of these little seats or whatever. Keep it, keep the bearing located. And it's notch there was broken. That can't be good. Hmm. Oh well. New bearings are about. I didn't really get a good chance to look. I think they're like twenty bucks. Twenty bucks for each main. So forty bucks for new bearings for a good edge. It's not a bad deal. And I don't know if I showed you already, but I, I also got a an EK for it at um, the Washington Crossing engine show, 100 bucks for this EK. I uh, didn't need to do a thing to it. So, 
as a good deal. And uh oh and the fuel tank, I might I might just order that from hit and miss while I'm ordering bearings. Little Tecumseh fuel tank's doing just fine, but you know, when I a normal fuel tank will look better. So that'll be alright. Now we back up and running again soon.